it is finally here. It's wedding day. It's so exciting. Uh, seven years, almost seven years has led us to here. Um, and a lot of uh, Circle Hall, you know, Circle Bar led us to here. And, you know, being fearless and taking chances and risks has gotten us all the way to here. And it's been the most amazing adventure ever. And why don't you share the story of you guys first meeting? Story of us first meeting was a night that I picked up a shift at the bar and Kelsey had decided to go to a bar that was no longer uh, in business. So they went, her and Eden uh, made their trip to California, uh, her first time ever here. And they decided to go to a bar across the street that wasn't open. And they ended up in my bar. And I will never forget the moment that she walked in the bar and it was like, a glow of just a person and just you could tell that this person was just something special and that I could just feel that she was going to be a part of my life forever um, which is wild and she'll never live, live it down that um, I made her pay for her first set of drinks and she always says I could still have that $12 um, and that's fine, you know, that's fine because you got a lifetime of memories from that $12. So technically, you bought my time. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Um, but I'll never forget, like, at, you know, at the end of the night when we'd spent all night talking and the night it was dead. We had, like, three other people that came in. And I remember looking at Elliot and being like, hey, you have to go take care of these other people because I need to stay here with her to just talk. And the end of the night came and... She had handed me her, she was like, hey, I want to play a song over the speakers. And I was like, yeah, okay, sure. So I was thinking like Taylor Swift or something like Poppy or Country or something. And she gets to, she gets to the aux chord and she puts on this heavy metal, like, like screamo, like, <sighs> and my face was just, but I was beside myself sitting there and I was like, what is happening right now? Who is this girl? Um, but from then I was, I came to realize that she's full of surprises all the time, no matter what. And it's crazy because it was, I didn't understand what kind of person I could be as a human until I met her and she brought those sides out of me of compassion, love, caring, you know, like spent my entire life sitting there thinking, man, you know, I don't want to get married. Like I, I just, there's not people in this world that I care enough about to ever want to get married. And that changed the second that I met her. And it was never a question of if I would move to be with her. It was always, okay, when, you know? And it was never, you're gonna to come to California? It wasn't that. It was, when can I come be with you forever? And um, I still think that resonates to today and I think it's really exciting. Yeah. And how are you feeling today? So excited. <laughs> I know that's like, people are like, you should feel nervous, you should feel, I'm like, no, it's, it's exciting because this is the moment that I've waited for and planned for and, you know, like there is two years ago when I proposed to her, I was like, man, like if there wasn't COVID, we would do this tomorrow, you know, like, so it, to me, I'm so excited and I think that it's like for, this is just another step for our journey and I think that it's so exciting to just experience all the things that we do together and all the, you know, fun times that we get to have and get to be with my person forever. And then um, what would you say are some of the things you're most excited about for marriage in the short term, like just upcoming weeks? We have a honeymoon that we're going to Switzerland and Italy, obviously, so that's gonna be phenomenal. So that's exciting to look forward to. Um, another one is to be able to rock that ring around. You know, I get to run around and be like, look at this bad boy. Um, really excited for that. Um, this guy's off the market forever. But that was seven years ago, six years ago, so that's fine, you know. Uh, but, you know, I get to be able to introduce you as my wife um, and I, your husband, and um, get to, those are the things that I'm most excited for in the short term. What about long term, like 10, 15 years? In 10 to 15 years, the thing I'm most excited for is to be able to wake up and still look at you and be able to have my forever person with me and to all the experiences that we're going to have is just not even fathomable thinking about 
what the future holds. And then what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship with her, like something that she's taught you? Something that she's done an amazing job of teaching me was that life is full of laughter, fun, adventure, and always being able to, you know, look at the small things in life and understand them as a whole. And I think family. She's taught me a lot about family. Um, you know, it's the way that I grew up and the way that she grew up is very different. The way that being here and the way that she reacts with her family and, and interacts with her family is something that was very different to me. And it's something that I've taken very, you know, a very new perspective with of the value of it, the um, importance of it, the, you know, that's being able to be around those people and have fun and enjoy with them. You know, it's families forever. And why don't you just finish sending her a sweet little nothing? Today is your day to be in your best dress, fearless. Good call. But it is rolling now. Whenever you want to, send them a little something. Okay, so Bryant, we are a few minutes away. Well, probably a few hours, I guess. Feels like minutes away from our um, I do's here and our first look and. The sun is out now, it was raining earlier, we were worried about that, but rain is a good thing um, on your wedding day. And I am so excited to walk down the aisle and get to be your wife in front of all of our friends and family that have flown from all over the place, countries, across, <laughs> across planes, trains, and automobiles to get here. So I'm just so excited to finally be your wife after almost seven years. Finally, and um, to be Kelsey Sands and just finally start our forever adventure together. And why don't you tell the story of you guys first? Meeting? So back in 2017, I actually 2016, sorry, so many years ago, we went on a, a trip, me and my best friend Eden, who is the matron of honor today, went on a trip to uh, California randomly and decided to uh, go to a bar on a random Tuesday night. And on that night, we went to a bar that was closed for the season and ended up going into a bar across the street. So we weren't even supposed to meet. And when we walked into the bar, um, Bryant was standing in the middle of a circle. And that's the story of Circle Bar. And we were um, definitely, I would say, it was one of those things that it's like, have you ever fell in love with someone that you first met for the very first time um, in that moment? And I am gonna say it in my vows, but I'm gonna say it now, it's, I just knew the second I met him, um, he was gonna be a monumental part of my life. I had immediate connection with him um, and that we would be together or friends or something. Um, I just felt so effortlessly um, drawn to him. I could talk to him so easily. Carrying on a conversation was effortless. And it was just one of those things that's like when you meet someone and you feel like home. Um, enchanted by Taylor Swift is our song because I truly was enchanted and wonderstruck by meeting him and literally was wondering like how, how he was going to be important. And I mean, he moved across the country um, to make our love story and, and bring our love story into existence. Um, and so it's just amazing that we're standing here right now and that we were both fearless enough to decide to uh, take this journey together and become husband and wife. And I'm sure there's a thousand things. What are just a few of your favorite things about him? Oh my gosh. Well, he hates it, but when he rambles, he gets stuck and sometimes he'll just ramble, but it's cute. And it's one of those things that I have to stop him. Like, this is what you're trying to say. But um, he has the kindest heart um, and he literally is every single person's biggest cheerleader. If he is in your life, he is your cheerleader. He is your, your support system and he is there to lend an ear or a hand or whatever it is. He is the most generous person I've ever met. 
and one of the most kindest souls, and I hope that I can give him the amount of love back that he has given me. And then how are you feeling right now? I really thought I would be very nervous, but I'm feeling a lot more calm than I thought I would be. I think I'm just really excited. I'm excited to see him for the first time. Um, and just to start this day together and just see all of our friends and family and get to celebrate. Um, but I'm just more than ever excited that it's finally here after two whole years of planning this. <laughs> and then um, what's something you're excited about for marriage in the short term, like just the upcoming weeks? Um, for one, I think we're excited for health insurance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, we're really excited just to finally get to say we're husband and wife. I think that's something that our family is like always, we've always viewed each other as that already, I think, but it's just exciting to finally get to say that, um, to know that we're forever with each other and to just know that in general and have that be real finally. Um, I don't think a whole lot's gonna change just because we're basically like each other's best friends or together all day, every day, and you think you'd get sick of someone, but that's not the case with us, really. Um, people say that love is hard, but he makes it easy. And, um, and then what's something you're excited about for marriage in the long term, like 10, 15 years? Um, I'm excited to continue to get to travel together and have memories and experiences together and see each other through all of our different versions. Um, we've already been through so many versions of each other in the last seven years and just supporting each other and watching each other grow and continuing to be like each other's cheerleaders and just continuing to see the success and his passion and drive because he's always trying to think of how to make our lives better and how to grow and how to just keep us moving forward and always make sure that we're taken care of and happy and healthy. So I'm just excited to continue to see where we end up in the future. And last question, but what what's something you feel like you've learned through your friendship with him, like something that Honestly, he has taught me kindness, empathy. Honestly, it's just like how to love truly. He, when he loves you and you're in his life, he loves you wholeheartedly. Um, and that compassion that he has and just life in general, like he's always, like I said, wanting to do better and drive better and just have like a better life in general always. And he's always positive. He's never negative. And we have a negative moment, he always tries to turn it into a positive. So with it raining this morning, um, one of my favorite songs and part of the song for the song that I will be playing for him is Fearless. And in it, it says, I will dance in a storm in my best dress, Fearless. So in the song that he will hear in just a little bit, it says, I will dance in a storm in my white dress. And so for it to be raining this morning, he was quoting Fearless um, and quoting Taylor Swift to try to turn around the negative into a positive. Um, so he's always just so positive and so welcoming and just home. And why don't you just finish sending him a sweet little nothing? Brian, I can't wait to walk down the aisle and I am so, so, so excited to be Kelsey Sands. Brian, Kelsey, I love your love, and I am so grateful to have been able to celebrate and share this moment with you. Um, I love you both dearly, and I look forward to celebrating many anniversaries um, with you both in the, long, in the long future. I can't wait to tell your kids about this night. I can't wait for all of it. I love you. That's all. Kelsey and Bry, I love you guys. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. You guys are beautiful, and I hope you have the best wedding ever. Cheers. Perfect. I'm just gonna let it roll. Whenever you're good, you go for it. Okay. Just something for their day. Okay. Yeah, you know, just like, hey guys, we're glad to be here today. Okay. You can share some sweet things. You can you can shit talk them a little if you want to. <laughs> get a little sassy. Because they'll get all of this. And okay. Then, uh, you know, I make cut little parts in, but I'll know the parts like they don't want that on Facebook. Yeah, that Let's makes sense. Okay. Congratulations, Kelsey and Bry. I love you both so, so, so much. You are literally just 
family to George and I, and uh, we just couldn't live without you. Thank you so much for having us here on your big day. Um, and again, we love you and congratulations. Awesome. Okay. All right, we are rolling. Love you, Kelsey and Bry. Thank you guys so much for always, you know, pushing me out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm so happy for you guys, and I can't wait to see where you guys go. You guys go. All right, when, when's it recording? Cool. When Bry told me that he was going to move to Arkansas, I thought it was the worst idea, flat out. I was like, that, this is the dumbest thing. Like, you just met this girl. What is the dogs? Like, what is happening? And then I talked to Corey, and Corey was like, nah, man, it's a great idea. You got to spread your wings. You're going to do it. You do it now. And I'm so right I was 100% wrong. And Corey was 100% right, and that's kind of how it always is. Uh, but I'm very happy that I was wrong in that instance because uh, what happened worked out perfectly. And I'm just so happy you took that swing and you went for it, and uh, that Kelsey is now a part of your life forever. So I'm just so happy that you, you went for it despite uh, some people, myself, uh, misgivings. Okay, first of all, this was one of the most exciting days of my life ever. Um, I'm, like I've said before, I'm so glad to be here. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure if I like your best friends or you more right now. I have had such a good time with all these girls. Like, totally introduced me to a different kind of world, different kind of lifestyle, and I'm absolutely in love with everybody. Um... Listen, I know that I'm the ball bag of tonight for sure, but I've earned that right because uh, I've known her so much longer than you, Bri, okay, for one. And for two, uh, Bri, you're so good with my mother. Like, I mean, oh my gosh, there's nobody else in the world that could ever be the kind of son to my mother that needs to be the kind of son to my mother that you are. And um, Pootie, Sissy, I absolutely love you and the woman that you have grown up into. Like, for real, you're my hero. And I love you immensely. I am, I feel like I have become a part of a huge family today. And I just, I'm beyond blessed. And I love you guys more than anything in the world. And I just, I'm looking forward to every single day from here on out. And I love you guys. Bye. Yeah. Okay, uh, Brian Kelsey, huh. Brian and Kelsey, congratulations! Uh, I am so honored to be here. I'm never allowed out of the house, but I was allowed to come here, which is one of the best trips I ever made in my life. Uh, I wish you guys all the happiness in the world. I'm having the time of my life, and you guys are the most beautiful couple I've ever seen. Love you both. Whenever you are good, we can go for it. In three, two, one, get it. Uh. All right, that didn't go as planned, but let's just go on the fly. Kelsey, I love you. I wonder if we remind you about this funny story we had together. You and I were paddling down the Elk River. We ran out of beer that one time. And you being the girl that you are, I had to send you off on a navigational trip to get us some bush lights. You came back willing with two of them in your hand, and you and I shotgunned them in glory. And I'll love you forever that. Thank you. Brian, Kelsey, I love you guys so much. Everybody's speeches today have literally nailed it. You guys are compassionate and caring, and you would literally give the shirt off your backs for everybody, and that's why we became friends. You are my lake crew. You know that we always have such a great time together, and I cannot wait to have many more to come, and I love you so much. Perfect. First things first. Kelsey and Bri, you know how much I love you. Bri, you know, <clears throat> you're my fucking man! That's all I got. That's it. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let it roll. Whenever you're good, you can go for it. Okay, let me think, kind of. Um, like, does it need to be like long? Does it matter? No, it can be. Some people are like, hey guys, I love you, have a great life. Other people will go on and share some thoughts. It can okay. be whatever you want. Okay. 
All right, well, Bri, you've been my uncle um, for a long time now. This, today was just official. I love you, and I appreciate everything you do for me. Um, Pooty, I have never had anyone more that I've ever looked up to. I love you guys, and I am so excited to see where life takes you, and I'm so happy that I get to be a part of today. Love you all. It's Garrett Kitterman with Disney Channel, and I am here to let you know I love you guys. That's it. Yep. Um, okay, so this is Roland. Okay. All right. Hey guys, it's Eden with my tequila, of course, my signature drink. Um, but man, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> I know I've been at your house pretty much every other weekend uh, this past summer. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a sign um, above the doorway that it's Eden's room, your guest room, <laughs> because uh, I've been there so much. But thank you for just like everyone else said tonight, just always being there for, for your friends and showing up and not just showing up, but giving it 110% every time. So love you guys. Kels, Bri, we've known each other for like only three years, but yet it seems like a lifetime with all the adventures we've already had together, all the family things, Christmases, Friendsgivings, everything we do. No, y'all are always there and likewise from us. Um, we couldn't do life without you. You become family to us and I'm just so happy that y'all are finally getting the day you deserve together. Cannot wait to see the rest of your lives. Wait, I love you. I'm speaking for Gary and I, but I love you. <laughs> Beautiful. I knew that she 
on someone who was just the perfect partner for her in life. Bryant's presence in Kelsey's life has brought out a light in her eyes that I've never seen before. Kelsey, do you think she's smiling? He supports her dreams, and he looks at you with a love that's just deep and genuine. How are kids in my room? Together, at least every call is at least an hour and a half long. 
um, which we do live a few hours apart, so when we do connect, um, we gotta completely catch up. Uh, after digging through photo evidence, I think we probably settled on this being our 10 year anniversary. And it's not that often that you find a friend that understands your type of A personality, a love of planning and spreadsheets, and Jordan and Rhea, I mean, we love our spreadsheets. <laughs> And I'm like, thanks for getting me. And I know I'll and know that I'll always be there for you, um, even when I'm halfway across the state. And um, so also, which has been referenced a few times uh, tonight, but I have known Brian just as long as Kelsey does. Uh, Kelsey and I took a trip to California in 2016, and the rest is history. And the thrill that I can bet him is so cliche to say because it was like it was out of the movie. Um, but it, it felt like we know them forever. Um, before that trip, um, and even while we're on that trip, I didn't really remember Kelsey's mom telling us, now y'all be careful, giving us the stranger danger talk. <laughs> <laughs> but with Brian, even from the beginning, it was different. And I think the feeling with both ways, and he felt the same way. It's like we knew he could be trusted. And Kelsey said it before, even earlier again today, that she knew that Brian would be a part of her life but she just didn't know that moment in what way. Being friends with you two is effortless, like all friendships to be, and I love you both for that. So, let's raise our glasses, and we're going to leave with a reminder. Marriage can be a difficult path, don't forget that she is your true north. All right, at this time, if uh, Kelsey and Brian will make their way over to the cake, we will now cut